Today we will want to revise on resultant force equals to mass times acceleration. Now there are two categories in such question. One is when the forces are unbalanced and one is when the forces are balanced. So let's look at the first category when the forces are unbalanced. So we revise using this example. If I have a 2 kilogram box, right, and there are two forces acting on it, say 12 newton and 3 newton. Alright. Now in this case, we say that the resultant force is 12 minus 3. Now it is 12 minus 3 because it, they are in opposite direction. If they are in same direction then it will be 12 plus 3. Now there is this important equation resultant force equals to mass times acceleration. Right? This is a very uh, important equation in N and O level physics. So if we apply this resultant force equals to mass times acceleration, we substitute the mass inside. We we'll find that the box will accelerate to the right with 4.5 meter per second square. So in this case, if two forces add on a box as 2 kilogram, the resultant force is 9 newton and it will accelerate to the right with 4.5 meter per second square. Now this is what I call the standard question for RF equal MA. Now there is another category that is the uh, special uh, situation when both uh, forces acting on it are balanced. For example, if we use the same uh, box of 2 kg, if both forces acting on it are 12 newton but in opposite direction, we say that the resultant force will be 12 minus 12 newton which will be 0 newton. So if we apply the same equation of resultant force equals of mass times acceleration. Now in this case, uh, the because the resultant force is zero, the A will be zero, right? Because if zero newton equals to two kilogram times A, all right, you work out that the acceleration must be zero. Now zero acceleration may or may not mean that it is stationary. So there are two types when A is zero, one is stationary, which is uh, very easy to understand. It's not moving because both forces are the same. However, <coughs> if both forces are balanced, it can also move with constant speed in a straight line, which is what we call uniform velocity. So although both forces are balanced, this box could be moving in a uniform velocity, say example of 3 meter per second or any number as long as uniform velocity. Because uniform velocity or constant speed in the straight line is also 0 meter per second square acceleration. Now commonly, we can see example of a, say a person riding a bicycle right okay I draw a bicycle huh? a person riding a bicycle right person riding a bicycle now if the forward force forward force uh, is 12 Newton all right now regardless of how heavy the bicycle can be if we know that the bicycle is moving forward with a constant speed in a straight line say 
example 3 meter per second then we know that the resistive force okay resistive force in this case is the air resistance it must be also 12 newton why because this 12 newton and this 12 newton because they are in opposite direction they will cancel out each other and give a resultant force of 0 newton and it will still continue to go forward at a constant speed now we call this a uh, cruising in action and you can experience this sometimes when you're riding bicycle so we have completed uh, resultant force equals to mass times acceleration you may need to rewind and play back the video to fully uh, get the ideas in the example thank you for watching